Oh boy, when I broke in, it wasn't an, in an industry. Um, people in these days were looking for uh, anybody who would come in and help be an administrator in whatever sport it was, in whatever country or city you happened to be. And I played badminton, I was also a lawyer, and it became quite clear that I was unlikely to win the, the next World Championships whenever they started. So I got tempted to become an administrator, and here we are. Um, what we did in Scotland all these years ago was we took a relatively quiet, um, uh, peaceful, uh, sort of social relaxation type sport uh, and we began to turn it into something that really was well organised. Uh, and the way to do that was to recruit a group of immediate past very good players and put them in a room and ask for ideas. And if you got 12 ideas, 10 of them were ludicrous, but the other two were terrific. So you backed up uh, what you wanted to do on the basis of advice from people who were very good in the sport. And the sport has moved on ever since. Oh, wow. Uh, again, there's a slight difference between you know, administration as a work and administration as a, as, as a hobby. And two huge moments. One was getting badminton into the Olympic program um, in East Berlin, of all places, in 1985. And without doubt, uh, sitting in Singapore in 2005 and listening to Jacques Raga open the envelope and say the games will be held in London. I mean, they can't be much much bigger than those two. But, I mean, that that, that was the result of good administration. It, 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 for me, it wasn't, an, it wasn't an industry decision. It was a very personal project, both of them. Um, uh, ability to listen, uh, ability to work out what the issues are, uh, understand frequently the politics uh, of it all, um, uh, and speak to people. And if you try to be pleasant, you'll be surprised how often people are pleasant back to you. I knew the late Mark McCormack uh, quite well. Um, the Royal and Ancient Golf Club used to have a wonderful gravel voice secretary called Keith McKenzie, who turned the Open Championship into one of the world's great uh, sporting events. Uh, and both of them had vision. Uh, they had a view of what could be done with an event. Uh, and I watched both of them with interest and um, tried to learn.